Peace and blessings, peace and blessings, Mark the Messenger. We're back in our video. This one's going to be about understanding the Holy Spirit is the eight keys, everything that the Holy Spirit does in our lives. Let's get, let's go. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number one is the Holy Spirit dwells in believers and fills us up. Okay, it fills us full. What does that mean? <clears throat> we're, we have a flesh, we're in a fleshly body. And when, when you receive the Holy Spirit, you now have power. Even the Bible says that you'll receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. So what is that power? That power helps fight against your flesh, okay? One thing I noticed before I had the Holy Spirit, I was a slave to sin. You know, I was in bondage to darkness. I didn't really care for anything about righteousness, which I'm gonna talk about in a little bit. Um, like, I, I was just in darkness. You know, I was in love with this world. I was of this world. But once you get the Holy Spirit, you become set apart. The things of this world no longer interest you. You know, and all, you no longer care for... Uh, the materialism and you know the stuff that the world promotes you know are, are vain you know the vanity starts to decrease you know even the bible says he must increase and i must decrease that's what happens when you have the holy spirit every every day every of the, as the years go by the days the weeks when you have the holy spirit that is what's happening you are decreasing and he is increasing in you okay so that's what the holy spirit does guys it fills you up with the spirit the holy spirit to help fight against your flesh and you know teaches you all things and number two is actually, let me read that verse. So this is a 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. It says, Know ye not that you are the temple of God and the spirit of God dwells in you. All right, number two is, helps you helps in our weaknesses and intercedes for us. Okay, so even the Bible says when, when you are weak, you are strong. Okay, so let's read this verse with you guys. This is in Romans chapter 8, verse 26, 27. It says, Likewise, the spirit also help our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray as we ought, but the spirit itself make intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Okay? And he that searches the hearts know what is in the mind of the spirit because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. So when you are weak, when you feel lost, when you feel when you feel like you're being led to confusion, um, you know, stuff like that. Right. The Holy Spirit is there. The Holy Spirit is there to help build us up, to not lead us to confusion. Uh, to give us strength, to give us wisdom, to give us courage, to keep on going, to keep on moving forward. So that's one thing I noticed. Whenever you're weak, you are actually strong. Number three is that our, it's the Holy Spirit is our teacher and our comforter. Okay, uh, John chapter 14, verse 26 says, But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, which the Father would send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to remembrance, whatsoever I have said it to you. So it's our teacher. Now we know that God has prophets, apostles, teachers, uh, all that type of things to teach us, but the number one thing is the Holy Spirit, which is our teacher. So whenever you're in need of guidance, uh, help, any any spiritual questions, uh, any you know personal questions, the Holy Spirit will always be your answer. And this is why it's important to not be of this world, because when you're so intrigued by this world, there's you can't. The Holy Spirit doesn't even dwell within you. So this is in um, uh, John chapter 14, verse 17 says, "Even the Spirit of Truth." Which the world cannot receive because it sees him not neither know him but ye know him for he dwells in you and he shall be in you so um when you're of this world the whole you can't have you can't mix the holy spirit and a worldly spirit it, it will never mix so to, to want to have a true teacher okay you want to have someone a comforter you got to surrender your life surrender your life to god and do the will of god that's who the holy spirit comes upon the people who are of this world and you know want to be lukewarm you know want to play both sides you're going to struggle, okay? You got to fully surrender. And that's the reason why a lot of people don't get the Holy Spirit, guys, is because they're not willing, they're not willing to give up the world. They're not willing to give up the things of this world, maybe certain friends, certain addictions. Uh, they're not going to get free from their demons, the demonic spirits, demonic strongholds. So, you know, and when you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is your helper, it's your comforter. It's going to teach you all things. I guess I'm, I'm going to go over it in this video. It's going to give you the wisdom. It's going to help you, instruct you. Now, you have to do the work because faith without works is dead. But it will show you the way, you know, it will show you what you're doing wrong. And many people, when, when they're being convicted, when the Holy Spirit is convicting them, you know, instead of them, OK, you know, let me change. Let me get right. You know, let me pray to the most high. And, you know, what what do I need to change within me? You know, what, what, what do I need to let go? What do I need to give up? Remember, he must increase and I must decrease. If the people who are not willing to do that, to be obedient, you, you know, you're, you're going to struggle. You're going to struggle. So number four is teach us righteousness and convicts sin and judgment just like i was talking about it, con it convicts judgment so let's talk about this verse this is in john chapter 16 verse 7 to 8 it says okay my fault so it says neither nevertheless i tell you the truth it is expedient for you that i go away for if i not go away the comforter will not come to you okay this is christ speaking but if i depart i will send him unto you 
And when he has come, he will reprove the word, the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Okay, so he will show us, okay, whatever sin that we're battling with. That's a lot of sins I bring to the light. And a lot of people are like, no, Mark, it's not a sin. But the Holy Spirit has let me know certain things are sin. Certain things are keeping you in darkness, are keeping you in bondage. But people are telling me that it's not a sin. But so who am I going to trust? Am I going to trust the Holy Spirit which convicted me of sin or some random person on the internet? Okay, so so it's going to convict you of sin and it's going to teach you righteousness. Okay, and it's going to bring judgment. Okay, so what does it mean to be judgment? Okay, so when people think of judgment, they think of like evil. And yes, there are, you, you can do evil and judgment will come. But also when you do good, You'll get, you receive, you know, judgment and good judgment. Okay, I'm going to reward you righteously, whatever whatever deeds you are doing. Okay, so that's what the Holy Spirit does. It teaches you righteousness, teaches you the right way. And when, you, when you're being taught the right way and you're applying it to your life, you're going to stay on the narrow path. You're going to stay on the straight and narrow path and you're going to become more stronger in the spirit. Because the more obedient you are, the more stronger you become. Okay, and it's going to convict you of sin and bring judgment. Number five is you become spiritual and you no longer have a carnal mind. I'm changing the channel. Make sure to check out this dude's channel and subscribe to it. Leave comments and all that stuff.